to say a break round is plays a very part in makes up the bus for King Tuesday. So you can see that the revenue this quarter is is most of the pie, and others like so low. I'm, I'm used to seeing it like fifteen percent or more, and um, the income is not that much. And the expenses is uh, yeah, the expenses is lower than usual this quarter. So uh, the expenses is taking up more than half of it. Now the Russell sales outlook for the next five years. The Russell sales outlook gives you an idea of what the Russell sales will look like in the next five years. So you can see that is gradually the product sold per day is gradually going up from 2021. But then you see the site sign outs per day takes a dive in 2023 because online orders are not popular. So um, you can see here that it goes back up in 2025. And this is uh, money made per day is kind of wavering around it. Decreased a little bit in the 2023 to 2024 period, but otherwise it was pretty good. Now, the Russell sale history shows you the Russell sale for the 2010 to 2020 period. So you can see that in 2011, it starts off, the uh, money per day starts off abnormally high, but then it kind of, it takes a dive down to 35,000 over there. So does the site sign us per day, and there's a very subtle dive with the product sold per day. And then in 2011 over here, you can see that they're kind of, they recovered from it. But you can see the site sign per day doesn't do anything. It's just the money per day that really increases. So they stay mostly the same until 2013, 2014, and 2015, when in uh, 2015, the site sign ups per day takes a major dive over there and goes down below $1,500. Next, we have over here in 2017 and 2018, the Product sold per day climbs rapidly to 3,500, and then stays pretty much stable until 2020, where they climb a small amount. Next, we have Russell current quarter outline. This shows the product per day, side business per day, and money per day in the last quarter. So, in March, which was the beginning of the quarter, everything started out at an average level. The site visits per day really didn't do anything until we got to June, where it started getting higher and higher and capped out at $2,000. Uh, $2, so in products, whoa, what? in products per day, it capped out at about just below 4000 and it actually didn't go that high compared to uh, site visits per day and especially money per day. So the money per day went all the way up to 4,300 or thereabouts, and was climbing on a pretty, pretty steep incline from April, May, and June there. Thank you for attending the Rustler Quarterly Presentation for Q2 2020.